this is the Royce and welcome back and be blessed till the end of the show. My name is Christine Wangoi from Rohi Girls. Walisema siwezi cause life ni hard bila mazoezi. I tried to reach for the star but siwezi so inabidi nifanye mazoezi. They say I must be a star to be a real superstar, a genius to be called a star. But siwezi imagine life bila kuitu a superstar. Nilika mkugundu the only star, who of course is the only superstar, and can make you a star to be a real superstar, and that's the redeemer. Kukwa mdanda haimanishi we ni fala, cause kwa father hakuna jina ka fala. Sio lazima ukwe kama superstar ndo uitu a star, cause God has your star and wants you to find it real to be a real superstar. Eti, Tangu nizaliwe, nimeishi kujitegemea. And with God by my side, sijawai ya gemea. Cause, ame nitoafa, kulingana na penye nimefika sofa. Na siyo ni testimony kwa father. He is the giver. Mbono si mshow prayer zako na is the receiver. Cheki, shida zangu ziko kando. Na si kwa God yo ni bravo. Na si God alitembea jia maji. Hebu imagine, akitembea kwako itakuwaje. Mbona tusiteka chika. Mbona tusitake a chance of believing cause it akwa too pleasing to keep believe in the eternal life of the living. I might sound fishy but ni kofiti. I think I'm done. Kujikinga kwa misuli Siwapozi wa wadada 
hawa ni madada zenu kiwa kwanza hawa dada ni damtu amekosa mwalimu mekusikiza vizuri mekusikiza tumewacha soko moko na sasa malumbano twakomesha mavazi sio masomo twafungua ukurasa ukurasa wa masomo maadili twafuasa hatutaki domo domo hadi hapo memaliza darasa ni sasa twende roi gas wana shamba sasa kushi na tumeenda Welcome to this edition of The Royce. I am Stella Mboy from the Hill School Girls Eldoret and we want to ask our parents, why are you so strict on us as teenagers? As in, we don't like this strictness, we love our freedom and you just, uh, you don't, as in, you don't understand us, you know what I mean. One thing I would want to tell the young people is that the person who understands you best is your parent and anything they do they do it for your for for your best for the betterment of your life uh, and because they have gone ahead of you they know the things you can engage yourself in and they destroy your life and the ones that th you you can engage yourself and build yourself and reach your destiny so at times when the parents are telling you don't do this do this uh, don't go here go there you find like they are being strict and like they don't understand you but oh, what they are doing is because they love you and they want the best out of you so what i would want to ask the teenagers appreciate your parents that one because they gave birth to you and they have seen you grow to where you are. Maybe you are 12 years, 15, teenage, the teenage life, or whatever years you are. They are the ones who know you best. They have seen you grow. They, have been, they know your talents. They know your temperaments. They know your limits. And they are the only ones who can reach deep down into the well of your, of your personality and bring out the talents God has put in you. Like which freedom are you talking about? Mm. Let's say like um, going out with our friends. Yes. All right, friends are good. Uh, but at times your parents are able to tell the kind of friends that they'll allow you to have and the ones that they'll not allow you to have because friends can be, uh, they can build you or they can be detrimental to you. So depending on the kind of friends that you keep and again, how long do you take with your friends and where do you go with your friends one thing if you want your parents to allow or to accept your friends let your friends be known to your parents bring them home introduce them to your parents let your parents know the parents of your friends and where you are going with your friends let your parents know you tell your mom leo we, ha we are going to natalie's or saris place because she this is her birthday then you agree with your parents Okay, fine, go. But by the time it is five o'clock, be back. Then be obedient to the time. If your parents see that you are open to them, they know your friends, they know the parents' friends, when we agree on the time you go and come, you are open. They will not refuse you with your friends. Lakini wale marafiki munaficha, munaficha, munaficha hivi. Unawambia mzazi ni na tunaenda kesha, tunaenda mahali koso enso na munaenda mahali pengine. The parent will always know. Na mungu at some point atafanya uwe exposed what you did, you went to do last night. Then your parent next time will not accept, you close you. So if you want your parent to accept your friends, let them be known. Alright? That is where most teenagers feel. They don't allow their, they don't introduce, let their parents know whom are they going out with. Where, who, who are their parents? 
But there are those who are good, especially those that are in church, those that love Christ, those that fear God, those that have grown up in the virtues of Christ. They let their parents come into their inner circle. Such freedom of having our forms, mm -hmm. like our parents, yes. most of us, to make kuliwa simu. And we don't understand, Kwani, what do you think we do with our phones most of the times? Right. What fear do you do you uh, do you think mm -hmm. we do? What is your fear or pertaining the teenagers? All right. Let me take the example of the phone. It is us who buy the phones for you. But at times when you find that you are too much on your phone, from the time you wake up, maybe to evening, you don't have time for anything else. You are only on the phone. The, the way it is, it, it is working against you. There are those teenagers, they even close themselves in their rooms with their, with their phones. And we know you have access to internet. So we, are, we fear because you are growing up. You want to, 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 to explore the world. And there are so many stuff, dirty things that are in the internet. So if the parent does not guide you, and if you don't, uh, if you don't allow your parent to guide you on what is it in the internet can I watch and help me. Most teenagers have the tendency of going to the to, to the to, to the internet part of the uh, part that is not really very helpful. And you'll agree with me. Is that correct? Most of them would want to maybe look at people that that, that maybe they are not complying to the to, to, to the norms of the society. Celebrity. Not really celebrities because there are those that are good, eh? but there are those that are in that internet and they are advocating things that are that are negative, that are not that are not agreeable in the society. Number two, you find that there are those teenagers. They'll be if they stay in their phone so much, they'll be tempted to to go to start watching pornography, which is even against God's laws. Therefore, you find that because what I would ask the teenagers. If you want to use your phone, sit in the sitting room with your parents, with your brothers and sisters. Continue and be there in your, with your phone shortly. Then go to your books, go to the kitchen, do some other work and you'll find that you'll be friends with your parents. Just like the sun rises from the east and shines around the world and drives the darkness away, so is Jesus. He is our light. When the light of Jesus shines upon you and I, it cultivates the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which are joy, love, self-control, kindness, long-suffering, faithfulness, gentleness. You ought to reflect the same to the world that is dark and sinful, and this will drive away the darkness of sin and light of Christ will shine around the world, and the world will be a peaceful place to live and Christ will be glorified. That is what we had for you for today for this special edition of The Royce. Remember we have this special edition where we look at two schools in one episode of the show just to compare and contrast and also encourage our young people in what we see that they are doing well and give our suggestions on what we think that they could do better. That is why we would like your feedback. Tell us in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram at Royce for Christ. Tell us what you think about Vanessa Grant Girls School and Nyeri Baptist High School. What you seen them doing well and what you could suggest that they should do better. We are putting the a number 
uh, on your screen. Kindly use it as well to communicate to us and we will receive your feedback directly right here at the Roy's. We have been looking again at Vanessa Grant Girls School and Nyeri Baptist High School. We really hope that these students have blessed your life. Uh, if you'd like us to visit your institution, contact us on the same number that is appearing on your screen. God bless you. I have been your host, Grace Michere. Until next Saturday, where we shall meet right here on MBCI TV, but in a different school. See you next week. <music>